so you're relegated to the margins until he requests you to enter the, the sacred space of the city council and give your comment. So you don't have the benefit of none of the group dialogue, you don't know the agenda, you don't know what they, where they're at in their agenda, so it's a closed meeting. And he's, he's doing a mere wink at democracy by allowing his staff to come in and collect people two and three at a time. So it is like a closed meeting where you get brought in to say whatever you want to say and you get sent out of the room. So you're not even bearing witness to the deliberations of a legislative body. So what's the takeaway from today? Democracy has to have active, engaged, robust citizens' participation and we have to demand in no shape, form, or fashion, access and accommodations by our public officials. I think the city council should be ashamed of themselves for how they operated today, and I think they should have went into the auditorium, and I think that, that we're not going to hear the end of this. The city is under profound assault. They're taking over and privatizing the whole entire board board. They're doing a massive, unprecedented since the sale of Manhattan land sales, and they are effectively creating all of these extra contracts to do the work of civil servants for the uh, emergency financial bank. Like Ernst and Young, you know, like Miller Canfield. We don't we hardly get a corporation council. Pretty. She's doing her job. But now we're paying triple for attorney services and legal work? Shocking. And the arrogance of this legislative body is unprecedented. Given the need for where we're at fiscally, given the need where we're at socially, you should open up the gates and any and all citizens with any say should be allowed to participate in your legislative deliberations.